possible shift from the White House on Israel's war with Hamas. Yesterday, Vice President Kamala Harris called for an immediate ceasefire for at least six weeks, citing the, quote, immense scale of suffering in Gaza. Now, over the weekend, U.S. planes dropped aid into the territory for the first time, although critics say this is still not enough. In the southern city of Rafa, another day of unimaginable grief after 20 members of the Abu Anza family were killed in an Israeli strike, including Rania Abu Anza's twins, a boy and a girl, just six months old, who she spent a decade and three rounds of fertility treatment to have. What did these babies do, she says? What are you doing? Just watching us die? After nearly five months of brutal war in Gaza, the Biden administration appears to be making its first major steps to try and end the misery.